Features of the Crack Pro 125 heated hose melder applicator. This video also applies to the Crack Pro 200 and 400. It is a diesel fueled melder. We have a Kubota diesel engine. This is the engine uh, control panel. Diesel fuel tank, 30 gallon capacity. Diesel fueled burner. And over there then is the hydraulic oil tank, 30 gallon capacity also. Heat transfer oil expansion tank. Material tank. Burner control box, and it's also the uh, heated hose uh, control box. Oil temperature thermometer, material temperature thermometer. This is the dry motor for the material pump, which is inside the insulated uh, storage compartment. And then this is the uh, electro-hydraulic uh, control center for both the material pump and the uh, agitator. Electrically heated hose. Gravity flow drain valve for filling pour pots. And then finally the uh, electrically heated hose and the applicator one. Okay, on our hydraulic oil tank, we have the shutoff valve uh, for changing the uh, oil filter. Always make sure this is in the open position before starting the engine. And then this is the belt driven generator for the electric hose system. It's important on a new machine that we take advantage of the entire bottom. Therefore we need to lay, physically lay the blocks in there. Okay, to start the engine, uh, you first turn the key to the left position uh, for the uh, glow plug system. And once the light goes out, then you have to depress this and then turn the key to the right to start the engine. Then release. To load the machine with material, it is not necessary to get up on the fender. Put your block up on the lid and then just simply close the lid. This prevents you from getting splashed with molten product. Anytime the lid is open, this switch deactivates the agitator and then when you close the lid, the agitator will automatically come back on. This is our control box for all of our functions. Heat transfer oil controller. material temperature controller and our hose temperature controller. AC voltage dial for the uh, heated hose. AC power on and off. Material pump forward off and reverse. Agitator forward off and reverse. Interlock light. Reset button. High temperature light. Burner enable. This light will be on any time the burner is actually on. And then on off power for the burner system. So once the engine is started, we need to turn this to the on position. Turn the AC power switch to the on position. What will happen then is the green light will come on telling us the burner is now running. Our temperature controllers have two scales. The bottom scale is the temperature that we have the controller set for. And then the top scale is actually ambient temperature. Once the heat transfer oil, the material, and the holes are all up to temperature, once the white interlock light comes on, that means the agitator automatically starts turning. This is the pump speed control, and then the uh, other control then is for your agitator, so you can uh, fine tune uh, the speed of both of those. This is the main shutoff valve for the material pump. And then we also have our material thermometer. Okay, as your product is melting down, then you can add more 
uh, blocks to the tank, but do not add more than two boxes at any time. Once all the product is melted, it's time to uh, apply product. Remove the wand from its holder. There are two switches on here. My left hand operates the pump. My right hand operates uh, this switch, which flashes a light so that uh, the operator can tell the driver of the truck when to stop or... The wand goes up in here to this heated receptacle that keeps the applicator uh, tip free flowing. And then any time that you would want to recirculate product, just open this door and put the wand applicator up into the slot.